Hello again, everyone. It's me, Mr. Steven, with another Circle Time. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to talk about things that move this week. So as always, we are going to start with a question. So remember, when it's your turn to answer the question, I will point. And then that means that it's your turn to pause the video and answer the question. Let's practice really quick. How are you today? Nice work, my friends. All right, here we go. Let's see what our question is today. The question today says, can machines help people move things? Yes or no? What do you think? Great answers, my friends. I asked a lot of my other friends too. A lot of them said yes, a lot of them said no. So first, let's count the people that said no. I see that one, two, three, four people said no. They don't feel like machines can help people move things. So that's four right there that said no. And then for the people who said yes, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven people said yes. So which one looks like there's more? Which one is the larger number? Is it four or is it seven? It is seven. So more people said yes, because seven is more than four. All right, my friends, we're going to sing a song now. Are you ready? It's a new song. Here we go. So we take our deep breath. Uh, me, 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 me. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Here comes a tow truck to tow your car. Tow your car, tow your car. Here comes a tow truck to tow your car. Mr. Tow Truck is right here. Did you guys like that song, my friends? I think that one was pretty fun. All right, now we're going to learn about some parts of a car today. This part right here that we're looking at right now is called an engine. Now, the engine is what helps move the car. So the engine has these little parts inside called pistons and they move very, very fast inside them. Here's a good picture of the pistons. They go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And at, while they're going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, that helps transfer the energy to the rest of the car. So while the pistons are going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, they help turn another part that's underneath the car. There's one at the front and one at the back called the axle. And it goes across. And then on one side of the axle is a wheel. And on the other side of the axle is a wheel. So while the pistons go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, all that energy from when the pistons are moving like that goes into the axle and helps it turn. And when the axle turns, the wheels turn. And that is how your car moves. That's very, very interesting to me. All right, my friends, that'll do it for today's Circle Time. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. I know I had a lot of fun and I will see you again soon.